Muskoka's massive flood of 2019 may be two years past us now, but for many, it's still not a distant memory. The question is, will we be facing a similar year coming into the spring of 2021? According to Huntsville's Director of Operations, Stephen Hernan, the outlook right now is positive. So we're into the spring season where the, the Ministry of Natural Resources starts to really monitor the snowpack and the water equivalency, and that's the amount of water in the snow if it melts and uh, they, they'll monitor it now at least twice a month and then as things get progressed you know towards the spring melt it'll become a weekly or a daily monitoring system um, right now what we're seeing is approximately 170 percent water content so what that means is a normal year is measured as 100 percent and right now we're about 70 percent over that now that's not alarming right now uh, because it all depends on the spring that we have uh, going back to when we had the big floods in 2019 we were around 200 percent uh, water content. So although we're high, we're not alarmed right now, and the ministry is taking the appropriate steps right now to, to try and get us ready for the spring runoff. But while we may not see the flooding on the level of 2019, Hernan says flooding is still a reality for some each year in Muskoka. The question always is, how much will we actually see? You're right, you can't prevent flooding, and flooding is a natural occurrence that's going to happen every year. It's, it's, it's how high the water goes. We probably won't know until the first week of April, until we see it in April, see what's going on and see what the long range range weather forecast is. If we have a warm, quick spring with lots of rain, that's when you get your flooding. If we could have a nice gentle spring where it's warm in the day and cold at night, then things will flow normally. When your TV Muskoka spoke to Environment Canada meteorologist Jeff Coulson last week, he gave a confident outlook for the next few weeks but says the April outlook is still hazy. As we go forward over the next couple of weeks, certainly we're going to lose a, a chunk of the snowpack next week with those milder temperatures and some rainfall. But then with seasonal temperatures coming in after that, perhaps to finish off the month, uh, that may slow the process down a bit, uh, only then to go back into it in April when we are expecting a return to uh, above seasonal temperatures. So I think it's probably going to take another couple of weeks before we get a better handle on uh, uh, what potential uh, flood season we could be dealing with.